The Nuggets and Wolves are heading into a thrilling Game 7, despite most games in this series being blowouts or being decided by around 10 points. Matchups have remained highly entertaining. This game is expected to be the biggest Game 7 this year, and I think this could be the biggest game of the playoffs. The Nuggets and Timberwolves have to be the two best teams in the West, and with the East not very good, the winner of this game could win the NBA Finals. In this video, I'd like to talk about the Game 6 for a little bit, then I'd like to talk about what we can expect out of this Game 7. Now first, Game 6. Some defensive strategies and adjustments. Well, we saw more double teams on Jokic, forcing him to pass the ball more often. Jokic still managed to score, but his teammates missed several shots. Justin Holiday and Michael Porter Jr. had some makeable shots that didn't land, partially due to the closeouts by Mike Connolly and Jaden McDaniels. The Nuggets struggled with the three-point shooting, and Anthony Edwards' increased defensive pressure on Jamal Murdy was very noticeable, and the Nuggets were held to 70 points. In the regular season, they score 114 points per game, but they held them to 70 points. You don't see that often in the NBA. But it wasn't just the defense, it was the offense for the Wolves too. They put up 115 points. The Wolves handed the Nuggets double teamed well, with Conley's presence as an extra ball handler being crucial. He made smart plays like finding Gobert in the middle, leading to open shots for teammates. McDaniels had an impressive offensive game. He put up 21 points off 80% from the field, and Cat made some valuable passes out of double teams, creating scoring opportunities. And of course, Anthony Edwards had a huge impact. He was unstoppable at times, being contested threes and driving to the basket in transition. His ability to break down defense, especially against Porter Jr., highlighted his offensive skills. In this game, he also had a good game, putting up 27 points off 47% from the field. May not have been his best game in the series, but it was still really good, and he didn't need to do much when the Nuggets were getting blown out by the Timberwolves. Now, a few things on the Nuggets side. I want to talk about Jamal Murray, who had a really bad game. He only had 10 points, and he shot 4 of 18 from the field. Christian Braun didn't do good, and it seemed like it was most of the role players just couldn't get going. When you put up 70 points, that's what you expect. Jokic had a bad game, but by far the best on his team. He put up 22 points in this game, off near 50% shooting. Nuggets as a whole shot 30% from the field, and 19% from three. Now, let's talk about Game 7. We haven't seen many close games this series, with the closest game probably being Game 1, where it was 106-99. And in this game, the Wolves just went away with the lead and took the game. In Game 1, there were 14 lead changes, which was the most we've seen all series. Other than Game 1 though, this has been mostly blowouts. This series hasn't been that good, but it's Game 7, so I think this game will be the best game of the playoffs. But I did mention in a previous video that I thought the Thunder and Mavs games were much better than these Nuggets Wolves games, just because they were way more competitive. Now, everybody likes seeing Anthony Edwards play, and I'm one of them. My team's out in the playoffs, I was rooting for the Bucks, but we didn't even make it past the first round. Now here's what I think is going to happen in Game 7. Now, the Timberwolves have won two of the three home games in Denver, and honestly, I think the Timberwolves are going to win. Anthony Edwards has been playing out of his mind, and I think we can expect the defense to come back that we saw in Game 1 and 2, and even last night. Timberwolves kind of fell apart defensively, allowing the Nuggets to score 117, 115, and 112 in Games three through five. I think when Minnesota's rolling, no team's gonna beat them in the NBA, but the Nuggets are really good offensively. But we haven't seen a consistent Nuggets team. I mean, it feels like they're either putting up 80, 70, or they're putting up like 120 points. I believe this could go any way, but the team I'm rooting for and the team I do believe is gonna win is the Timberwolves. Now, if you did enjoy this video, like and subscribe would mean a lot. I hope you guys are looking forward to this Game 7 because I think this is going to be one of the best games we've seen in years and maybe one of the most watched games in years. And if you have any suggestions or any comments of a video I should make, let me know in the comments and enjoy your guys' today.